Hello, my good friends, and welcome to week eight. Holy cow, things are really going by fast this semester, and I just like to celebrate by kicking back and having a nice drink. Of course, this is just ice water. This isn't exactly my drink of choice for a celebration, but it's going to have to do today, being as I'm here in the downtown office building, otherwise known as the D2L Studios, and I would hate to do anything that was uh, not allowed by the administrators. So that's why I'm not going to do anything that's not allowed by the administrators, which is precisely why I'm coming to you right now with this quick video. Here's what we do. Gosh, you know, it seems to me that you can hardly imagine, but the semester just seems to be going by really fast. <laughs> Pretty wild, this whole thing is. In the meantime, come over here and click on the YouTube, which you just did, and that's what you're watching now. And then you're coming over here to get the overview page of the, uh, of the, uh, what do you call, um, uh, bivariate frequency distribution chapter, which is going to take you, chapter seven, which is going to take you uh, into a position where you have a lot of talent because you'll be able to take like a paragraph of information, data coming out you, just sentences, words, and be able to construct a bivariate frequency distribution from which you will be able to sort out all the information in a organized manner. Not only that, but you'll be able to go on for next week and test that data for statistical significance. Now, the thing about this week is we're working with data that is, um, the data type is nominal, meaning male, female, Republican, Democrat, military, uh, civilian, prior offender, not prior offender. And uh, with that, you can only tell how many people are in that particular category, but then you can go on to describe the percentage of persons in that category and make comparisons using that, that, uh, that uh, data and then go on to test for statistical significance from which you can make policy, make decisions that are informed decisions. So that is highly cool. So here we are using the study guide to construct the bivariate frequency distribution. Then we're doing the homework for chapter seven. Then we're doing the exam for chapter seven. Then you're doing the module evaluation for week eight. And if you haven't done so yet, you'll need to video chat with me because here I am. Awaiting the chance to video chat with you if you haven't done so yet this semester, and you probably have, so don't worry about that. In the meantime, uh, stay cool and chill your bones, and you can cool yourself with some good ice water. And later, graduate to a different beverage if it suits you. See you then. Bye-bye.